In this video, we'll be going over trapping rainwater. So given n non-negative integers representing an elevation map where the width of each bar is 1, compute how much water it can trap after raining. So in our first example, we have the heights. So initially you have 0, 1, 2, 1, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 1. So basically the black ones are the height of our pillars and the blue ones are the water that we have trapped. So in this case, we have trapped a unit of six water. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's go do the dot process. We'll first determine how much water can we trap at index i. We will need to find the largest pillar on the left side and also the largest pillar on the right side. On the left side and on the right side. Then the amount of water we can trap here is minimum of the largest pillar on the left and right side minus the current height. So for example, if we're currently at here at index, uh, at this index, uh, with a height of one, we found the largest pillar, longest largest pillar on the left side, we have two here, and the largest pillar on the right side here, we get three. So the smaller one is two, so we do two minus one, and we get a unit of one. This means we can implement a two-pointer approach. The two pointers will be used as our current boundaries in each of the iteration we will be moving the pointer over a smaller height now why are we moving the pointer over a smaller height we gotta ask ourselves that so for example if we are currently at the left at the left side at index i where i is currently the smaller height we we know that the right side since we're only moving the smaller pointer the pointer of a smaller height we know that there will that there will be a higher height on the right side to allow us to trap water then all we need to do is find the largest uh, the longest pillar on the left side need to determine the highest pillar on the left side since we since we're always moving the smaller the point of a smaller height then we definitely know that the current uh, largest height on the left side must be the smaller than the largest uh, height on the right side. Must be smaller than the largest height on the right side. Then the amount of water we can trap is maximum left side minus the height of the current the current height this will also apply on the right side too so if we're currently at the right side at index j since we're always moving the uh, pill, uh, the pointer over smaller height we know that there will be a higher height on the left side to allow us to trap water so we know there will be a higher height on the left side to allow us to trap water. This means we just need to determine the highest height on the right side. On the right side. Because we know that the height on the right side must be smaller than the height on the left side. Then the amount of water we can trap is maximum right minus the current height at index J. Let's go over the pseudocode. So we're going to create the following variables. So we're going to have our i, the current left boundary, and j, the current right boundary. We have the water, the total water trap, 
and max left to current maximum water on the left side. Uh, the maximum pillar on the left side, or we can say the tallest pillar on the left side. And max right to current tallest pillar on the right side. So both of these will initially be equal to zero. So initially zero, also initially zero. And this one will be initially at the end of the ray. This will also be zero, and this one will also be zero. So while i is less than j, that means we can still trap water less than or equal to j. So if the current height is less than height on the right side, this means we can trap water on currently on the left side. So if max left is smaller than the current height, this means the pillar on the left is currently smaller. So we cannot trap any water here. For example, if we're currently at this index, there is no pillar on the left side that will allow us to trap water. So we will just trap zero. So uh, we were going to update the maximum height to the current height. So we're going to update max left to the current height. Else, this, this means there's a pillar on the left side that will allow us to trap water on the current index. So we're going to increment. Oh, for this case, we're going to don't forget to increment i. We're going to, then we're going to increment water by max left, the maximum pillar on the left side minus the current height. Then we can increment i, move our pointer forward. Else, this means we can trap on the water on the left on the right side. On the right side. So if max right is smaller than the current height, this means we cannot trap water here. So we gotta update the maximum height on the right. So we're gonna set max right to the current height. And then we're gonna move our pointer toward the center. So we're gonna decrement J. Else we can't trap water. So we're gonna increment water by maximum right minus the current height. And then we'll decrement J. Then we can return the amount of water trapped. Now let's go over the time and space complexity. So the time complexity is go to O of N, where N is the length of the input array. So two pointer approach. And our space complexity is going to be O of one. Now let's go over the code. So we're going to create the following variables to be our current left and right boundary. And the amount of water. And then we're going to create two variables for our maximum left pillar and the maximum right pillar. And then while i is less than equal to j, we can still trap water. So if height on of the, if the height on, on the left side is less than the height on the right side, this means we can trap water on the left side. But before that, we gotta check if max left is less than the current height, this means we are not allowed to trap water. So we gotta update the maximum left to the current height before incrementing i. Else, we are able to trap water because we have a larger pillar on the left side and also a larger pillar on the right side. So we're gonna increment water by maximum left minus the current height before incrementing it. Else, this means we can trap order on the right side. So if maximum right is less than the current height at J, this means we are not allowed to trap water because we need two taller pillars on the left and the right side to trap water. So we're gonna update maximum right to the current height before moving it toward the center. Else, we're just gonna, else we can't trap water, so we, we can increment maximum right minus the current height and then move our pointer toward the center. Then we can return the amount of water trap. Let me know if any questions in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for more videos that will help you pass the technical interview.
I upload videos every day and if there are any topics you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section below.